Uh, the next candidate coming up here wants to be your Libertarian nominee for Secretary of State for Illinois. The problem with this guy is that he traveled all over the state last year with my wife. He, tra he sat in a car for five and a half hours. He wasn't alone with her. <laughs> he traveled across the state five and a half hours, whining and complaining in the back seat the whole way. But then he did it again, and then he did it again. With, with Kep McMillan and with Claire Ball, traveling down to Murfreesboro, to Benton, to Mount Vernon, to uh, uh, Marion, to Metro East, to Whiteside County, to downtown Chicago, and out to Mundelein. He still does the gun shows every Sunday morning, and he's there at 7.30 a.m. putting together the table. If there's anyone that I know that has proven his dedication and has been a member here for 18 years, it is this man who wants to be your candidate for Illinois Secretary of State. Please welcome up Steve Dutner. Libertarian Party of Illinois. Yeah. Good evening. It's great to see so many familiar faces and a lot of new ones too here. You all make me so proud. My name is Steve Dutner and I am your Libertarian candidate for Illinois Secretary of State. Every Libertarian convention that I go to reminds me of the journey I took to becoming a Libertarian. I see so many of your enthusiastic faces getting excited about talking about liberty and remember when that excitement began for me. My first job where I had to deal with taxes when I, was when I became a golf caddy in eighth grade. They had no right to take so much of what I thought I earned without my consent. What is taxation? Yeah. <laughs> Slavery. <laughs> that too. Murder. It was during this time that my grandfather encouraged me to question everything I had been told. Although he was not by any means a libertarian, he taught me the importance of celebrating my uniqueness as an individual. I started to dive deep into the issues and discovered that I did not support many of the issues Republicans did and started to question my personal beliefs. Then my best friend's dad gave me a book by Harry Brown, who had just had his first run for president. I was amazed by Harry Brown. This guy made sense. I had to get involved. It was now 1999, and I decided to check out a meeting that the Fox Valley Libertarians were have. I voted for Harry Brown the next time around and decided to get even more involved. I joined National in 2001, shortly before 9-11. Then, it's been political activism up until now. Recently, I took on the role of activism director for the LP of Illinois and have loved every minute of it. I take pride in stating I am all libertarian all the time. Well, what inspired me to run for Secretary of State? That would be Miss Claire Ball. Ah, sorry. I gave up the majority of my personal time for her and Kent, but it was a wild trip that was more than worth it. I met people around the state and saw the enthusiasm of volunteers, and that's you in this room. So what are my plans for the Office of Secretary of State? First off, I'm going to privatize the heck out of the DMV. <laughs> Next, I'm going to make things more business friendly by reducing the cost to start and maintain an LLC. Illinois is ranked third in the nation for highest LLC costs. This has to change. There are over two dozen different departments within the Secretary of State, and I challenge you to figure out what they all do. <laughs> One of these departments is the Secretary of State Police. They enforce some really ridiculous code much pertaining to the new medical marijuana laws. Honestly, I would like to disband the Secretary of State Police. I would like to have local enforcement handle the code violations as they should be paid to do. Get rid of the Inspector General. I want external auditors, not someone that is already part of the system. Did you know that the Secretary of State's office steals tons of your money to give grants to such organizations like the Boy Scouts and also to empower youth to take up the game of golf? Yeah, those grants are going to end. Um, <laughs> my vocal piece for the issues that affect the Secretary of State is the Department of Legislative Affairs. I can't do anything with emissions tests. I can't do anything with red light cams. 
but I sure as hell can vocalize my opposition by showing up to wherever there's legislation. Are you going to have a tumbling pin? I am going to keep the tumbling pin. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse White tumblers are staying. I love them. I love them. They're good folks. <laughs> this is where the all libertarian all the time comes out. I am not part of the two party system, so I believe my independent opinion will be valued by both Republican and Democrat. Or so I hope. You will see my proposed solutions in the upcoming months, and of course, I am always willing to new ideas and suggestions for my family in the LP of Illinois. Come along on this trip with me. I've enjoyed working with all of you across the state these last few years. You have strong chapters and a strong dedication to libertarian principles. You care. You want someone to represent your interests, and that is what I plan to do. You never have to worry about my intentions or leaving to go to another party because it may seem easier. I will never use this party as a platform for my personal gain. Never. It's, it's, it's just not in. I am with this party for the long haul. I will remain all libertarian all the time. Will you? Yeah. <laughs>